and I gotta send this to um, <laughs> what's his name? Rockerware, Rockerware. I love you, honey. You're gorgeous. <laughs> but you come on. You can't give mom and dad all the credit for creating your package. Something outside of a human being had to create such a beautiful instrument. <laughs> I, okay, okay, okay. I know you're gonna. You, well, you're not. You're not a fighter, but you do speak very well. I love your videos. Um, well, the ones I've seen anyway. <laughs> but I'm like, what else can make something so beautiful and useful all at the same time and edible? Yeah. Come on. But anyway, I just didn't get it at 23, 24, 25, 26, 27. Um, 20, 29, not really till probably, who is my other great teacher? Uh, sweet. What is your first name? Dang it, I can't remember his first name. <sighs> ah, I can see his business card with his logo that he created. Sweet, sweet, sweet. What is your first name? Shit. Anyway, great, great, great lover. Big, huge, beautiful black man. Oh, my God. And he was huge, too. But I'm telling you... Anyway, so that's why I describe things so well. Because I want all those, you know, girls who are like me that actually waited for marriage. <laughs> yeah, right. Uh, to know, you know, it's it's not a, it's not always though. I've only seen like two ugly penises in my whole life. Uh, three. Uh, it's not ever what somebody else tells you it's going to be like. So, though you can read Playboy, Penthouse, Hustler. Uh, whatever, whatever, whatever. But I'm just saying, take all of those ideas and then wrap it in reality. You know, the first few times is not always fun. Not always, you know. Not always. With Leon, it was good because he was a good lover. He took his time and told me. We talked about it first. Now, this is going to happen and this is going to happen. Then this is gonna happen. And Patty LaBelle played that name. Um, if only you knew. <laughs> yeah, you always remember your first time. Uh, if only you knew, Patty LaBelle. I'll never forget. God, Rialto, right, California, 1981. Right before I came. 1981. No. Yeah. Maybe, whatever, don't matter now, it's over. <laughs> so anyway, that's why I pretty much describe too much detail my sex scenes that are usually like five pages long. So, but thank you for asking. It was nice that somebody actually noticed that. And if you go to lulu.com, you can see the preview of twins. <clears throat> and in, even the first in her mind, even though her husband's passed, she's remembering what it was like after dinner. And even that, the, the remembering scene <laughs> is two and a half pages long. I don't know. I guess I feel for those who don't know. So I write it in great depth so that they might have some idea. And it's always different. Always different. And we girls have the tendency of thinking just because I slept with you, you're mine, and everything's gonna change, the world's gonna be all rosy not don't do that to yourself don't set yourself up for that fall because <laughs> nine times out of ten it don't happen like that i do know a couple of people who have been together since they were 17 though still married anyway i'm not gonna tell her business so Sorry, long story short. I mean, a, sh a short story long. <laughs> that's why I am so detailed. And that's why um, even, even mostly even some of the non-sex scenes, mostly just the sex scenes I write like 10 pages long. <laughs> that's the majority of my story. Because we feel we, we're so 
different, you know? I mean, we get different after we photo dough. And we think because of that exchange that things are gonna change. And sometimes they, they quite often they shouldn't. Quite often it's, you know, the one who's more enamored and then the other one who's less enamored just goes along with it to make you happy and that's not fair to them. So like, stay open-minded, just love yourself, have your cookies, don't just let him have his cookies. Or for you gays and les lesbian people, don't let the other one just have their cookies and you don't get no cookies. Well, there's young ones in the room, you know what I'm saying. You know what I'm saying, okay? Uh, but yeah, thank you for asking. That was really nice for somebody to ask. It's nice being asked about my writing. <laughs> well, in day-to-day -day life, I don't talk about it. I talk about it in my Lady Loves Writer group, or Yahoo group, and that's pretty much about it. I talk to it about, I talk to my writing about, I talk about my writing with Ryan and sometimes Jasmine, and that's about it. Vlad reads my writing. He makes up a lot of this next book, but <laughs> anyway, that's neither here nor there. Yeah, so keep writing, writing, writing. Okay? Never give up. One page a day, at the end of the year, you got a book. For real, for real. Yeah, I painted my nails red again. What can I say? I just love my red. Anyway, keep writing, honey, keep writing. Write to vent your emotions, write to get, you know, junk out. Just write, 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 write. And whatever you end up with at the end of the year, poof, there's your book, you know. You can, you know, then I tend to set it aside for at least six months and finish. I started book three, I'm finishing book two. Uh, waiting for more edits to come back But even those edits I set aside for a little while and then go back to it, you know, so your mind can be fresh and clear Anywho, yeah, there you go. So now you have your answer, honey Yeah And I really appreciate you Yeah, sorry, my mind's already on the, that next story. Sorry already gone. Okay, go have a great day, Kathy. Talk to you soon. <laughs> Bye